Well, my name is Rebecca, and I had a delightful time at the Egyptian Museum. We had a lovely tour guide in Hepa, and the museum director himself welcomed us personally and let us in. We visited the old, the middle, and the new sections of the Egyptian Museum to see wonderful highlights. And how did you feel? That Are you ready to send your customers over here? I am read, more than ready. I'm ready to come back with them. <laughs> Great. I would second that too. Karen? <laughs> Karen, can you tell me about your experience, please? Oh, well, Heather told us a wonderful story through the Cairo Museum this morning. She just made it all come alive. And see the happenings more recently in Egypt. She saw Farah and Heba together, understanding you know, what happened, why it happened, and how it impacts us. And then I think our guests, we got a great deal out of knowing the experience firsthand. Great, thank you. What about you? Um, I am the same. I, I, I think this is a fantastic country. Um, the visit to the museum, I, I mean, I was thrilled with everything that we saw and the knowledge of our wonderful tour guide uh, and uh, I'm really ready to I'm really getting you dark I'm sorry oh that's okay <laughs> I'm really ready to go back and tell my clients um, about Egypt about the country how safe it is um, to have them forget about you know things that were past and this is a new Egypt now thank you I appreciate that. And you have something to say? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a lot to say. But I wanted to talk to them about the, our experience in Tahrir Square. That's what I need. It's my expertise. So, first of all, I'll tell you a little bit about myself, my background, so you understand why Tahrir is such a passionate subject for me. I've studied politics for my undergrads. I majored in political science, specialized in international relations and political economy. And I minored in economics. And it has always been, I've always been extremely interested in the history of Egypt because um, even when a lot of countries in the Middle East were um, under foreign rule, we're the, one of the only countries that was not affected socially by what whoever was ruling us at the time. Like in Algeria, they speak French, uh, French is, if not the first language. Here, it hasn't been like that. So 